Hey, hello, welcome. So friend, in this video, we are going to learn how we can assign data access to user based on any specific role. So let's begin. For doing the same, we need to move to the setup and maintenance. And then we will select offering. Based on the offering, we will move to the task. So let me select the offering as procurement. You can select based on your requirement. And here in organization structure, if you will move and you will go for the all task, you will get the details. The, the manage business unit data access for user. Even you can go for the manage inventory data access for user. So here, if you will see, we have two options. The first option is that user without data access and the users with data access. So if I will select this one and will provide the name, like, so suppose my user is test user and I will go to the search. It will show you all the roles which the, this user have the roles, but they don't have the data access for the roles. So here you can see there are various role accounts, payers, manager, application developer and all. And that role is like, and the user doesn't have any data access for this specific role. And if I will go and select here, the user with data access and if we'll say the username, test user, and if we'll go and search, it will show all the roles, all the like roles and the data access for that role assigned to this user. So here you can see this user have various row data access for based on different different roles. So if you will see the procurement preparer or manager, if let, let me filter this procurement manager, right? So here you can see we have procurement manager and I want to check that how many like business unit uh, this user have assigned based on procurement role. So you can see only one business unit ABC limited is assigned to this user for the role for procurement management manager if i want to assign another business unit roles another business unit data access what we need to do is I just need to click here once you will click it will ask you to select the username and the roles and all these things so here again i will select test user here you can see and here we need to select what role we are going to assign for the security con uh, context as a data access so here suppose i want to go for the procurement manager so here you can see we have procurement manager and in security console you can uh, select all these transactions entity right just like we have to go for the business unit so i will select business unit you can go for the inventory based on the, the roles whatever roles you selected you will choose even you can go for the ledger entity legal entity ledger and all so i will select business unit and here we need to provide the what kind of the for which business unit we want we are going to assign the access data access to this user so here, if you will see here, we have various business units. I will go for that, the this one, BO. So once I will go and click save and close, this, the security console will be reflected here. So if I will search again for this procurement manager, you can see this role, uh, this, the data access for this business unit is assigned to this user. So the same activity we can do for using REST API also. So how we can go and we can do the, using the REST API. So for that, we have REST API. So here you can see I have already added the same API in our Postman so that we can test. So this is the API. This is the API. That API is going to help us to assign data access to the user based on the roles, whatever we select. So here, if you will see, uh, this is the, like, uh, the API. And here, if you will see and check the header in header, in the context type, the mandatory part, we need to assign this one application vnd.oracle.adf.batch plus JSON. This is the context type, the custom context type we have to assign. And then the body in body, we have to assign the request payload and the method will be post. So here, if you will see, suppose I have to assign this user to procurement manager role. Procurement manager, let me select the procurement manager role only. Here procurement manager role this to this user and what kind of business unit I need to select. So suppose here you can see JCCF IND BU, this view if I want to set. So right now you can see we don't have this one, this view, right? So once I will just go and click send, it will return, it will just push this data into the fusion and that the data access for this business unit will be assigned to this user. So let me just click here. So once I will click, you can see the request uh, status as 200 and here you can see this is all are the details below. And if I will go and search again in the fusion. So here you can see once I will go search, you can see the third row also. This one added, right? This is the one BU which we assign using REST API. You can see here. This is the API, right? So suppose if we want to assign another business unit access to the user, this user for the role of procurement manager, 
let me change this BU, right? So instead of this one, if suppose I pass JCCF PAT BU and will click here send, right? So the same data access for this BU will be assigned to the user. So if I will move to the here and if I will search again, you can see there will be the one added here, you can see. So this is the way we have two approaches. The first we can directly go and manually assign. Second way we can use REST API and there is another way that is by providing the ADFDI. So here if you will see authorized data access, we can download the template from here and based on the template, we can assign data access to user. So in separate videos, I will explain you uh, how we can assign data access to the user based on the template or we can say based on the ADFDI. So thank you so much for watching.